Hello and greetings. This is Dr. V.C. Sonteke, course faculty for the course Energy Conversion 3. In this, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about the atmospheric jet engines, also called as air breathing engines. So, objective of this video lecture is to explain the construction and working of turbojet engine with after burner. In previous lecture, I have discussed about the construction and working of turbojet engine. Uh, the two limitations of turbojet engines are that number one, turbojet engines when operates at lower speeds and lower altitude their specific fuel consumption is very very high and number two since in case of turbojet engine the entire thrust is produced by high temperature gases in the propelling nozzle the noise level of turbojet level is a turbojet engine is very high so to overcome these two limitations some of the modifications are proposed in the turbojet engine and based upon this there are two different types of uh, variants I can say of turbojet engine. One is turbojet with afterburner and turbofan. So let us first discuss detail about the turbojet engine with after Burner. It is also known as turbo ramjet, turbo jet with, with tailpipe burning and turbo jet with reheater. Construction of turbo jet engine is as follows. Turbo jet engine with after burner is having following components. Diffuser, compressor, combustion chamber turbine, turbine discharge diffuser, tailpipe burner also called as afterburner and adjustable exhaust nozzle. So turbojet engine with afterburner is similar in construction with turbojet engine with the difference of following components. It consists of diffuser, afterburner and adjustable exhaust nozzle. The diffuser supports the stable combustion conditions in the tailpipe burner and also avoid excessive pressure loss. This is done by reducing the velocities of the gases coming out from the turbine and nozzle in case of turbojet engine with afterburner is heavy is of variable area nozzle it can it helps the turbojet engine to operate like a normal turbojet engine what happens when tailpipe burner or afterburner is used it generates the high mass flow rate of gases. So exhaust nozzle must be able to vary its area to accommodate the large mass flow rate. And when tailpipe burner is not used during the normal conditions, the nozzle must vary its area to reduce normal mass flow rate as in case of turbojet engine. So that is the basic difference between turbojet engine and turbojet engine with afterburner component wise. Now need of afterburner in a turbojet engine. So whenever a need for extra thrust arises such as for short takeoffs or combat conditions where during combat conditions lot of maneuvering is required 
so it requires excessive thrust so under such condition additional fuel is injected into the oxygen rich combustion gases leaving the turbine gases at the exit of the turbine have a large amount of oxygen so more fuel can be burned in this section so as to increase the thrust and this is achieved by installing after burner sometimes also called as reheater in the tail pipe between the turbine exhaust and the propelling or exhaust nozzle the function of the after burner is to increase the exit temperature of the gases due to the added energy due to combustion of extra fuel which are, which was injected into the tail pipe and this results in increased velocity and thus increased thrust after burning is used to improve the take off and high speed performance of an aeroplane using turbojet engine this makes the engine to run at supersonic speed applications many military military aircrafts employ after burning turbojet for their operations because military aircrafts require many times they are required maneuvering and high thrust for short takeoffs so this is achieved with the help of turbojet engine with after burner turbojet engine with after burner let us discuss its operating principle so working of turbojet engine with after burner is also somewhat similar with the turbojet engine so figure 1 and uh, in figure 1 the required cycle for turbojet engine with after burner is shown on temperature entropy plot and in figure 2 the various processes occurring in the various components of the turbojet engine with after burner are also shown so let us discuss its operating principle the sequence of operation will be as follows air intake i21 it is represented by a vertical line on ts diagram and this process will take place in diffuser i21 during this process atmospheric air is entered through diffuser where its pressure rises slightly as the air is decelerated in the diffuser and this process of slight rise in pressure of air by diffuser is called as ram compression so ideally ram compression is considered as isentropic that is why it is represented by vertical line and the pressure energy of the atmospheric air is increased at the expense of its kinetic energy and it is done by diffuser compression process 1 to 2 once again it is represented by a vertical line since ideally it is also considered as isentropic and it takes place in the in the compressor from 1 to 2 during this compression process air pressure and temperature are increased by multi stage compression in the compressor combustion process 2 to 3 it is represented by the curve 2 to 3 and it takes place in the combustion chamber from 2 to 3 during this process compass combustor adds fuel to the high pressure and high temperature air and burns the mixture at constant pressure mind well this process takes place at constant pressure to increase the temperature 
and energy levels further. Expansion process 3 to 4, it is represented by the vertical line and it is also considered as isentropic process and it takes place in the turbine during process 3 to 4. So during expansion process, the high pressure and high temperature gases are partially expanded in the turbine. Turbine produces enough power to drive the compressor and other accessories via a shaft. Now whatever gases are produced in the combustion chamber at high pressure and high temperature, they are partially expanded from pressure P3 to P4 only and this will produce some work output by the turbine and that work output is used to drive the compressors and other accessories. After burning 4 to 5, this process takes place in the tailpipe after burner. After burning is the process of introducing and burning fuel at constant pressure between the turbine and the exit nozzle. This increases the velocity of the exhaust gases in the nozzle due to extra heat energy added and this results into greater thrust produced. So after burning is also a constant pressure process and it will generate extra thrust. Then final expansion 5 to 6, it takes place in the exhaust nozzle. So finally the gases expand in the nozzle to the ambient pressure and leave the engine as a jet at very high velocity. This produces thrust on the engine. So the gases will be produced the high pressure and high temperature gases from the tailpipe burner will finally expand in the nozzle and will produce thrust. So this way turbojet engine with after burner works. So at the end of learning outcomes of this video, at the end of the lecture, learner will be able to explain the construction and working of turbojet engine with after bur burner and will also be able to explain why after burning is required in case of turbojet engine. In next lecture, I will be explaining the construction and working of turbofan engine. So with this, I come to an end of this video lecture. Thank you for your passionate listening and kind attention. Happy learning.